welcome to another episode of Ms. Hall of Exercises. We're playing the mutant game again and focusing on creatures in our area of Northern Ontario. As you'll remember, in the mutant game, we display a bunch of different actions and you've got to do them as fast as you see them. The first round is all about creatures of the forest in our area of Northern Ontario. Sudbury, that is. The first creature is the red fox. It hunts mice under the snow by listening very closely. So here's the action for the red fox. That's how it pounces on the mice. The next creature we have is the barred owl. Known for its bar markings on its front, this creature is nocturnal, so it only comes out at night. And it can turn its head almost all the way around to listen to creatures in the forest. Next, so that's the action for owl. Next, we've got the flying squirrel. This creature has what looks like a parachute on its body and it can glide almost the length of a whole football field. So this is the action for flying squirrel. Nice. The last creature we have is the short-tailed shrew. This creature has to move all the time and move so much that it has to eat three times the amount of its body weight. If we ate like shrews, we would have to eat 125 hamburgers every day just to keep going. So, this is the action for shrew. Okay, are you ready? Cue the music! Creatures at the ponds in Northern Ontario. The first creature is the leopard frog. This is the action for leopard frog. Did you know that it's called the leopard frog because it has spots just like a leopard? The next creature you'll see in the ponds are otters. They are very playful and they often live in the abandoned beaver lodges. So this is the action for otter. The next action is water snake. Water snakes Swim on the surface of the water in a sinuous movement like this. So they eat insects, fish, and not humans. So you don't have to worry about them. Last, we've got painted turtles. These creatures love to hang out with their friends on logs on hot summer days. So the action for turtle, of course, is on your belly, moving your limbs. All right, are you ready? Hear the music. that don't have a very good reputation and a lot of people don't like them which is silly because they're so important to our environment. The first one are the little brown bats. 
The little brown bats are only about this wide and their bodies are only about this big. Because they're so small, this is their action. They eat the pest insects that are killing trees and plants at nighttime. Okay, the next creature is the gray wolf. This is the action for wolf. Aroo! Wolves are very important because they control the population so all the other animals have enough food. Next, we've got black bears. Maybe you've seen them before. We only have two species of bears in Ontario. Do you know the other species? I'll tell you the answer to that trivia question at the end of this episode. Black bears eat a lot of the same things that we do. Meat, fish, and plants. Isn't that interesting? And the last creature are my favorite, the turkey vultures. The turkey vultures can smell their food from kilometers away. And what is it they're smelling? Dead stuff, rotting stuff. They're like the cleanup crew. It's so important to our environment. And their wingspan looks like this. It's like a flying V. And we're gonna stick out our nose to try to smell that stuff to eat. So here's the action for turkey vultures. Really try to bring that smell into your nose. Are you ready? Cue the music. today. Thank you for joining me on another episode of Mid Hall of Exercises.